Hey YouTubers, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to do a um, response video to Mr. Fartboy's last thread and also kind of share some new stuff that's been going on. Um, I haven't really had a chance to make any videos or really be that active in the community for the past couple weeks and um, I don't know, I'll kind of share with you why at the end of the video, but Mr. Fartboy had some very simple questions here, uh, kind of dark questions, but kind of simple and to the point, so I thought I would just kind of answer those before I tell you guys what's been going on. But anyway, uh, question number one, and I, I'm just kind of took notes, I didn't write down word for word, but basically he was asking if you woke up deaf tomorrow and were never able to hear again for the rest of your life, um, would you still, would your collection still hold value? and would you keep or sell it? Um, definitely two separate questions there. Would my collection still hold value? I definitely think it would. Um, yeah, I mean, that, 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 that wouldn't change the, the music, the rarity of some pieces and all that type of stuff, so it would definitely still hold value. As far as if I would keep it or sell it, that would be very hard to say. I think it would depend a lot on um, if, how crazy it might drive me if you see, you know if I had to see all that stuff around me all the time and the pictures on the wall and everything else and it ended up being a constant reminder of what I was missing uh, it might be a little, I think I think it would might, might be a little bit overwhelming where I would want to get rid of everything music related just so I'm not like torturing myself every single day um, again it's kind of hard to say but just initially that's kind of how I feel that I would probably end up selling it um, or doing something really cool like giving a bunch of stuff away to different people in the community that you know pieces I've known they really wanted and that type of thing I mean that would, that would kind of be a cool thing as well um, so that's my answer to question number one question two if digital sound became you know so much better than vinyl and, and on and on uh, would you still collect or would it, would it change the way that you collect I don't think it would change anything at all. I mean, there are a lot of records in my collection that, you know, as far as, uh, I don't know, the clean's not necessarily the best word, but maybe the CD that I have with the exact same record may actually sound better because there might be some crackles and pops and that type of things in the record. But you know, always have to keep in mind that, you know, with me, when it comes to vinyl collecting, one of the biggest reasons why I collect is because of the the way that all the other senses are drawn into listening to vinyl music. Uh, whether we talk about sight of the bigger artwork, you know, smell, touch, all that type of stuff. So no matter how good the sound quality gets, the sound quality alone would never be enough to make me completely turn away from, from vinyl music because the sound quality is not the only thing that makes me a big vinyl collector now and not a digital person. So I don't, I don't think uh, digital quality improving leaps and bounds would ever be able to turn me away from, from vinyl just because of the sound quality. That, that, that would never happen. Because, again, there, there's so much more to, to collecting than actually just the sound, which is what makes vinyl so special, I think. Um, so, yeah, no, it wouldn't change the way I collect either. Question number three, do you find more joy in finding kind of that holy grail or most wanted piece in your collection or more joy listening to it. Uh, that really depends on the piece actually because when I think about that and you know, I think about things such as my Teen Wolf soundtrack which was something I'd searched for forever on CD, vinyl and everything else and I was always able to find some but couldn't find them at a anywhere near decent price and so when I actually got that record I mean I was thrilled to no end, about as happy as I've been with any record I've ever received, but that that was all all about the listening on that record. I mean, as hard as it was to get as long as I, I wanted it, uh, I wasn't as excited about owning that record as much as getting a chance to listen to the music on there. And then there's other records like um, uh, Dave Matthews' band, These Crowded Streets. You know, I've ha I had the CD, I had the cassette, I listened to it all the time. So getting the record was much more about having that piece in my collection than actually listening to it all the time. So it really just kind of depends on the record. And I would probably say the things where you don't have much of the options with finding CDs and that type of thing, uh, like Teen Wolf soundtrack is a perfect example. 
you couldn't just get on iTunes and download the songs off of that soundtrack. Uh, you couldn't just go into any local store and buy the CD. You really couldn't even find the CD online. So in that scenario, the music itself really was was a, a tough find, period, no matter what type of format you were trying to find it on. Or something like, you know, Dave Matthews Band, These Crowded Streets. I listened to it a million times before I got the record, because you could find it anywhere, iTunes, CDs all over the place, and everything else. So, yeah, when it comes to finding those holy grails, it, it just, just really depends on each individual album. Some's all about the music, others kind of draws the collection piece in more so because you already have the music. So, question number four, and this question will actually kind of lead into what I want to share with you guys, and it's a show a record you recently, uh, a show a record that you haven't shown to the vinyl community that you think, you know, everyone should, should kind of know about. Well, I can't really do that right now because of one little issue, and that is this right here. Believe it or not, YouTubers, I know I just moved here about two months ago and got all of that nice stuff set up, got my music room set up, and now I'm getting ready to move again. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable to have to you know, to do all of that work, and then two months later, I'm having to pack up my collection and everything to to prepare for another move. But uh, just some really good opportunities came up, and I'm switching some things with, with my job and actually moving pretty much out of state. So, um, you know, I decided to take the opportunity, which means, like I said, two months ago, I was just coming in here, and now two months later, I'm packed up, and I'm off and running. So... I've got all my records cleared out now. This is where that uh, my vinyl wall used to be, right here. And that was the stuff that I had in the little hallway area. But uh, yeah, I have all my records boxed up here. Um, might as well kind of show you. You can see this stuff all over the place right now. But um, you know, we got four across, three down, so 24 boxes here. I think each one is somewhere in the neighborhood of. Um, maybe 90 to 100 records in each one. So I just took everything off the shelves in order, put them right in the boxes, and then I just numbered the boxes, you know, one through whatever. It's like, you know, that's 19, 20, 20 on down the line. So that way when I get back and get ready to unpack, I'll just set up the shelves and take box number one, put it up, box number two, and everything's just go right back in order over there. So, yeah, I mean, I, I cannot believe I'm having to go through all this again, but... At least I'm taking my time and doing it right this time with the boxing and everything, so it should be a little easier to move things this time. I know it's kind of dark over here, too. I don't know if you could see this or not over in the hallway, but here are more boxes. So it's probably too dark in here to see that. But And then, you know, a few more over here. So, yeah, that's the new news, and that's kind of why I haven't been posting or responding to a lot of you guys over the past week or two. It's just because of dealing with all this stuff, but... Uh, I should be settled in pretty soon, and of course when I do, I'll make a new video kind of showing my new record room setup and all of that good stuff, but still, I just can't believe I'm actually hauling this thing, hauling all this stuff again. Like I said, pretty much all the way across the state, cause I'm pretty much moving out of the state, so it'll be interesting. But anyway, that's an update, YouTube. Just want to let you guys know I didn't forget about you. I'm still thinking about you guys, and as soon as I get a chance, I will post some more stuff. I'm still watching all your guys' videos, so I kind of want to stay up on what you guys are doing, but I will probably be in touch with you in a couple weeks. All right, take care, guys.